Hey guys, um, just a short one here. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit, I guess I shouldn't say short, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about um, 6.7. The, so the 5.9 and 6.7 are same premise, um, So, we'll, but this, is, this one's a 6.7. Um, but talking about a pickup truck 6.7 versus a rear gear train or the industrial style um, engine. So we're putting one together, so I just thought I would I'd do a quick video on it. So this is the crankshaft out of a um, pickup truck application uh, crankshaft out of a 6.7. This one's got some little shrapnel on the uh, rod journal there. So as you can see at the front, they're pretty close to lined up where they would normally go. So this is what is going to run your cam in the pickup truck. This is what's going to run your camshaft and uh, your CP3 and, and such in the front. Now on the rear gear train engine, the only thing that this front gear does is runs your oil pump. And now when we go over to the camshaft, I'll show you the camshaft. So the front of the engine, now talking 6.7, the only differences in, in these engines is the crankshaft and the camshaft. Everything else is the same, other than obviously the front cover, the rear cover, that stuff is different. But that's vis visibly, you know, anybody can see that difference. Now if you look at the rear, um, and I'll... I'll uh, Ah, doesn't matter. Anyways, so you can see just your flywheel bolts on on the pickup truck. And now on these ones, got kind of half covered over here. So your camshaft gear is now on the back of the engine and comes in here. This is where your this is what spins that. And then off of that, you know, your CP3 gets spun, um, your accessory drive, all that stuff. As far as you know, um, um, a power steering pump or a hydraulic pump. Um, an air compressor, that type of stuff. Now, let's just go over quickly over to what the camshafts look like. So, just to give you guys a visual, see this is now is what your camshaft is gonna run on, or your cam sensor runs off of. So this is on the front of the engine. And then this bolts on and off on the rear of the camshaft because it, it has to bolt on and off so that you can you can pull it out of there. And then this is the pickup truck one. So. I have it oriented front front just to show you guys the difference but now if you guys are ever dealing with any of this stuff um these the 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 six seven uh the five nines weren't as bad for it but the six sevens are really bad for um breaking or connecting rod issues i shouldn't say breaking connecting rods connecting rod issues lots of them due to either lack of maintenance or um, injection failure so just something to keep keep an eye out for. Um, if you are building one of these things, they are hard to get parts for co compared to the truck ones. But the cylinder head and the block and the connecting rods, pistons, some of them are ISB, some of them are QSB. Um, the ISB is just the same as in a pickup truck. The QSB is the one that has the big bowl in it. Um, so I just wanted to... Actually, I guess maybe I'll show you the pistons because I do have both of them here. So here you can see the difference in the piston. So the piston on the left hand side is an ISB piston. So pickup truck and then some industrials. And then that one's a QSB. So this is the, the one on the right is the one that if you wanted to run a 505 injector or the, in, the, the injector out of a 325 horse 5.9 and a 6.7, you'd want to use the bowl on the right hand side. And then this is the bowl that you would use for the earlier model injector if you wanted to run 5.9. But just to show you the difference, like I said, the one on the left is an ISB, the other one is a QSB, just to give you an idea. So anyways, that's just a quick little rundown on these engines. Um, I've seen guys talking about it, saying that that's, there's a bunch of stuff different. There is some differences, uh, but there's a lot of stuff that crosses over. Blocks, heads, crankshafts, pistons, all that stuff. So uh, just so you guys know, oil pumps are the same as well. Um, so anyways, I think that'll call it good for this one. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Thanks to my Patreons. And we'll catch you on the next one.